Hey guys, so what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for a 736 season number four of this career mode. We're going to Texas. Last race was at Bristol, I believe. I need to look at this before I look stupid. Yes, Bristol. We won that race. First Bristol win of the, the career mode, surprisingly. So Texas is another mile and a half, sort of like, you know, Atlanta. So I don't know if we're going to do very well. But we are going into this race with a car rating of 83. Uh, not 100% condition engine or chassis, but still good things nonetheless. And also we have eight more races on the chassis downforce level three. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to show you the car setup and again the qualifying. Here's the setup we're going with. Uh, we're not doing the QB setup where the front and rear springs are 25 and 100 for this one. Um, but everything else I believe is sort of kind of what we've been doing normally. So yeah, the only major difference is fourth gear. I don't know why I had that at, at one. I should have had it at 101. But yeah, there we go. So. Now let's just head into qualifying and probably start on the pole, which will be not a surprise to anyone at this point. Good lord. Yeah, well, another pole. <laughs> and we got that by half a second. That was just our outlap, and Amy Hicks third. Ooh, I like that. Me and Jimmy Spencer start up in the front row. Let's get this Texas race underway. Three, two, one. Green flags up, we have 33 laps, and uh, now I get to say that this was the old configuration in Texas since they kind of repaved it and they revamped turn one, so there you go. And our car's not shifting in the fourth, and it did as I was mid-sentence, so that's good. And we lose the lead to Jimmy Spencer, which is very freaking concerning, but it's okay. I'm assuming, I don't know, a okay race, I don't know. The car felt big in qualifying when I was practicing off camera. That It felt so damn comfortable. It was, it was downright disgusting. Like, I didn't feel it being, you know, terrible. So we'll see. As we go into turn one, try to keep the car on the bottom. I know the car has speed in the straights. I just don't know how it's going to be in the corners as Gordon obviously has the lead now. But Amy Hicks is still in third, so good, good run for her trying to do something with this season because it's been just awful so far as we get a really good run through three. Trying to get the lead back from Gordon. Ooh, okay. Yeah, well, that's what I'm noticing now is turns one and two, it's not, we're not very good through there, but in three and four, oh man, we can make up a lot of time. We're just right there, Gordon, just trying to get the lead. Good racing, what is this? A, a good game? <laughs> Alright, so let's try to do this again in turn three. Harvick now takes over third. Oh, car turn. Okay. I did have the, I have it like half around down on uh, the wedge, so it's a little bit freer. I don't think I need to loosen up anymore because I feel it being on the edge right now. So I'm just desperately trying to get by Gordon lap after lap. Whew, got really close on that apron. Yeah, it's just it, it, it's pushing. I can't. <laughs> just, it's just a, just a little bit tight, but then loose. So I don't I don't know. But Amy Hicks, don't you dare do something stupid. Or I'm doing something stupid right now. As Harvick's now going to take the lead. So okay, Jeff Purvis is out of the race. Okay, that's kind of that's a little bit sad. And again, like, every time we lose so much ground, we gain it all right back off four in, in, in turn three, so, I don't know. Just keep the car on the bottom. I, I don't even know if I can even say we have a car to pull away right now. I mean, we're just right there at these guys. Just, <laughs> it's just incredible. Oh, my God. Just, I think once I can clear them, I think, I, I believe I, I can be set, but I just, I can't do that right now. Oh, my God. I'm going to try to focus here. I'm going to go into sweat mode and really try to concentrate. Starting lap 10, really not a whole lot to update you on. It's just been more the same. Gordon, I mean, took the lead back from Harvick. We're still right there. It's just, it's just the car is just not there as you see it pushed so much off a of turn two. And whatever ground we lose in that corner, we kind of gain it back in three and four and, and then in the, you know, the front stretch. So it, it really has been just a, just a a whole lot of back and forth with uh, the interval and everything so it's good to see this car have speed it's good to see you know it, it running well especially at Texas because it always seems like we just suck here and choke a lot I mean don't get me wrong I still have a lot of room to choke but for right now I'm doing surprisingly well here yeah we're losing ground <laughs> well, whatever grip we were having and doing well yeah that's out the window tires are really falling off on this car I can't really go into these corners anymore uh, aggressive, um, just, ah, oh, damn, just the tire wear is still not there with this, at least with this track. Ooh, yellow, that's interesting. 
It's going to be happening right at pit stop. So we'll see how this kind of plays out. We just need to get through, you know, these corners just fine. I'm just, I'm kind of surprised that that happened. Normally we don't have like AI yellows all too often, except for New Hampshire. They're stupid there. Off uh, a turn four, we'll maintain third place. I'm glad that they're pitting, and I'm glad that these caution laps are going to take up some laps here because this car sucks so much at the end of this. My god. And oh god, Frank Kimmel with uh, I don't know what kind of pit entry was that. He just completely bonsaied it in there. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. What a scrub. Yeah, obviously, we're pitting. Oh, this would be interesting because some people, I think, began their cycle of pit stops, so we might have some people up at the front that don't normally belong up there or, or what. So this might shake up the field quite a bit. So four tires, fuel, will be out in the way. Got it. <laughs> you bums! Oh my god! Fifteen point three. The pit crew did exactly what they need to, and we actually lose spots on pit road. So we, moved, I guess, yeah, in the sixth. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Again, we had a stupid log jam on pit road. But yeah, it looks like Gordon's the leader. Rudd second. Uh, yeah, Kurt Busch third. I don't know. Can't tell. So thankfully, because of that pit road shenanigans, that didn't actually damage the car in any way. So that's nice. I'm trying to. Sp Get the hell off the circle button because it doesn't work anymore. Oh my god. Well, we kind of lost ground because of that, but we're in six. As long if we can just get back up there, run okay. My top five might be possible with just how well this car runs in the first half of, of the, I guess, the fuel cycle. Oh, another caution. That's it, that might be for debris. <laughs> Why is this a shit show now? Oh, well, I mean, at least we keep six still, but... <laughs> oh, lordy. Yeah, debris. Good, good job. Good job, Andretti. Obviously, we're not going to pit. Man, this is going to make the laps down even more. And Okay, I guess Kurt Busch was a lap down. Okay, that's interesting. So we actually got to a really good start there, as Kurt is probably going to start holding up all these other cars. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. When it's 10 to go, don't they get... I, I don't... Man, I can't remember the old rules at this point. Um, but, yeah, we're still in six. Mark, no. I swear to God, if you die bombing in turn three, I'm going to kill you. Virtually. Oh, my God, we just get through that corner just fine. And we maintain six. The only thing that might be a help is Kurt is holding all these other cars up because he's a lap down or trying to be on the lead lap. So, I guess that could be interesting. It's Jarrett just takes the lead. You know, why not? Jarrett just... If it's not me winning a race, it's going to be Dale Jarrett in this crew, I swear. <laughs> it, at, at this point, like, my god, he's going to definitely be a threat for the titles. We just bump into Ken's. Why do we hit him twice for no reason at all? Like, we don't have to race him. We don't need to hit him to get a top five. Like, we have a car to, to do it. And, yeah, we, we do exactly just that. Top five we go. Really good run up turn four now into oh another yellow oh man this could almost end the race it might huh man it must be another debris yellow man this is a shit show of a race that's kind of a shame because I feel like no no uh, no I want fourth I want fourth I, I think I can get in turn three it's okay I might have faith in the car for a change ooh that far I that was a fuck up I shouldn't have done that come on come on come on straight line speed ooh Holy crap, that was close for fourth. This could be the end of the race, or it could be a white flag. I don't know. Um, yeah, more debris from, okay, looks like Scott Wimmer, I guess, in the 23. Tabodine, I can't tell. It's, it's too low res. Okay, Tabodine. This should end the race, maybe? Okay, we're just going to have a, a white flag sort of case, so there we go. And we're actually going to get out to a really good start. I don't know how long that's going to last, but... We can just maintain fourth. I'll be completely fine with that because I think we actually have a definitely a top five car, so I want to keep it. There we go. Sorry to the full field behind me that I just stacked up. 
You should be able to get a good run the three Marlins. Do not dive bomb it in there and wreck yourself. Oh my god, the car almost didn't turn there, but it kind of kind of did. Here we go off turn four to end this race, trying to get third. We had a hell of a run, but it's not enough. We'll get a solid top five. Jarrett with the win. I can't really ask anything more out of that race with uh, nor how tw uh, Twex Texas normally goes. So I'll I'll definitely take that. That was actually I'll, way better than I was expecting. <laughs> Let's see what our earnings are. It should be pretty good considering we got a top five. And yeah, it is. We get over a million. So. Yeah, I can't really ask anything more out of that race. That was pretty solid. So we don't really lead any laps. Gore led the most. So I think Jared's going to cut the point gap on me a little bit by at least 20. So, yeah. And so Jeff Byrne, I don't know what it is with this season. He's been doing really well. As Bill Ellie gets 10th and Amy Hicks 11th. So good run for her finally. And Thomas Smith, the most random guy of all time, gets 19 starting from 29th. Okay. Yeah, let's just get out of here. That was... I'll, I'll take that. Run, we need runs like that. We don't need to choke every race. And the next race is at Martinsville, and I'm very excited for that because I, I am pretty confident that I can get the win there. So that is really good to see. Um, yeah, we can definitely start overhauling some of these engines. Number 15 came in. That's like the best one we have. So uh, what can we do here? I guess we can overhaul that. Um, cause that's the weakest one, I believe, once it's 85. Yeah, we'll work on this one here, number 12, to get that going here. So 900k for that. Chassis. Um, we'll see if we can overhaul anything. Yeah. Um, what will this be? 85. We overhauled that. 83. So I want to get these things better. So we're going to overhaul that one for two races. And... Actually, you know, we'll go to build, we'll throw in new stuff for this one, and it'll probably carry over from this race and uh, Talladega, so this will be good, and it didn't save it, so let's just change it to that, and thankfully it saved it, so there we go, another car rating of 84, I believe, so. Seven more race on chassis, down for his level three, and then point standings, ooh, yeah, we barely keep the points lead over Jared, who got his second win of the, the season. And I think me and Jared are just going to have one epic battle for this title because he's just been very, very just strong. I think he's been almost in a top 10 every single race except for one so far. So, yeah, he's he's a, he's been a beast this season so far. Nothing new for that for him, really. As we have Junior in 4th, Ross in 6th, Burton 7th, and Bobby Labonte in 10th. And here's top 20 with Tom Smith at 15th. Good lord. And Purvis nowhere to be found at 21st and Amy Hicks 23rd, so they're not doing good oh. so that was texas that that was that was great i, I like that a big shout out to my tier three patreon supporters to darren Reynolds, scott brown and roland hoff for weather bros kamikaze games jeff gorn and ryan lazner for their donation again i can't thank you enough for your support it does mean a lot to me and you guys are seriously awesome for it I'll see you all next race i'm there i'm very confident we can win that martinsville so i'm, I'm looking forward to it so see you all there and as always have a good day everyone